Auckland City Hospital is the testing ground for the university's latest earthquake research project. We can adjust it if it's too loose or too tight. The virtual reality program rates how people react in quakes and aims to improve how we respond during an emergency. Newsroom tested out the program, which has had more than 200 people take part. Going through the doors, uh, then it's the escalator to go up the stairs. In the simulation, participants are asked to walk through the hospital. Instructions lead you to a room. Got to go inside and it's some kind of presentation. leave your items on the desk. And then the shaking begins. I've got my keys down. Oh, it's shaking. I can feel it shaking. Am I meant to crouch down? I'm going to crouch down. Oh, no, I'm standing back up. Oh, crouch down. Yeah, so the room's shaking. Uh, there's stuff falling off the wall, so I'm under the table, uh, looking around. I don't know where the other two people have gone. I can see someone else crouching at the other end of the table. Oh, the photocopy is exploding. Um, the shaking sort of coming down. So it's died Please down now. I will check the situation outside. Later, I'll guide you out. When it stops, uh, someone's going to check you then decide what to do. Here. I'm going to get out from under the table. I might try and grab my phone and see what's going on. Okay, I'm going to leave the room. And that inevitably uh, takes you out the like door to survey damage the damage. There's no way you're going to be able to use the lifts. Uh, I will probably go back towards the escalator. Oh, there's other people walking around. Down the escalator. And then... Oh, out the door where there's other people waiting. They're all still waiting next to the buildings, but if it, if it was me, I'd probably want to go to the domain. This two-year project is due to finish its research stage in October. Once the team have analysed how people react in an earthquake, they hope to use the findings to develop better safety plans.